I'm Deepak Chopra. You're watching One World with Deepak Chopra. Today we are coming to you from New York City, from the NASDAQ building in Times Square. And my very special guest uh, today is uh, Professor Michio Kaku. If you haven't heard the name, then I don't know where you're living. Uh, Professor Kaku is uh, one of the very important exponents of science today. Uh, for the general public. He has written over 70 articles. He's, his interest has been in the unified field theory. Uh, he's talked about super strings. His latest book is The Future of the Mind. But uh, Dr. Kaku is actually a futurist because he kind of predicts what's on the forefront of science today and what to expect tomorrow. And I've uh, never seen a more articulate person in this field than him. He, he uh, went to Harvard University. He's a physicist, as is obvious to you uh, by now. Uh, all his credentials will be on the screen, so I don't want to spend too much time going over them, other than the fact that uh, his uh, uh, programs have appeared on BBC, Discovery, CNN, the History Channel. And he's really the co-founder of the string theory, which we'll talk about in a few moments. Uh, but let's actually get right in the beginning to your current book. I've read all your books, by the mm -hmm. way, and I'm halfway through The Future of mm -hmm. the Mind. What's this book about? Well, you know, when I was a child, I was fascinated by Albert Einstein mm -hmm. and the quest for a theory of, of everything, mm -hmm. an equation no more than one inch long that would allow us to read the mind of God. But I was a kid, mm -hmm. and I loved stories about telepathy and telekinesis and uploading memories and recording memories and maybe photographing a dream. So I tried real hard to read other people's minds. I finally came to the conclusion that maybe true telepaths walk the surface of the earth, but I wasn't one of them. I failed. But now I'm a physicist. Now we can actually probe the thoughts of the thinking brain. We can look at blood flow with MRI machines. We can actually see thoughts ricocheting like a ping pong ball inside the mind. This to me is incredible. Telepathy, telekinesis, uploading memories, photographing a dream. We've done it. We've been there. I went to the laboratories at Berkeley. I went to the laboratories where we actually do these incredible things that I dreamed about as a child. And I wanted to tell people the excitement that people feel because we're on the verge now of understanding things like mental illness. Things like, is it possible that consciousness can exist outside the body? Can we, in some sense, live forever if our consciousness survives, even if our material body dies? And is it possible to upload memories, like in the movies? These are questions that only philosophers asked a generation ago. And now physicists are asking these questions. <laughs> 